Today we are checking out one of the most unique and weird and strange and just different vehicles I have ever seen or been around. This is a 1990 Toyota Master Ace Surf, which Sal just recently picked up. And um, just look at it. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. We were just driving through um, downtown area and the amount of attention this got was more than all the other cars that we were in. So yes. it's definitely unique and different. Why did you pick this? <laughs> Honestly, I've wanted a I've always thought of like having a right-hand drive car be pretty okay. cool for a few yeah. years, and I saw last year at a car show a guy had a little Subaru Domingo K van. Okay. And I'm like, man, vans are kind of cool too. And yeah. After a year of kind of just casually looking around, I found this one and went and checked it out. So, okay, we could talk about the powertrain. It's got yeah. it's it has got barely, an engine. It has an engine. <laughs> Either the, 97 or 100 volts. Yeah, nine, uh, it's the Toyota uh, 3Y okay, yeah. engine. It's a straight four, okay. two liter yeah. uh, gas engine. Yep, Either 97 right. or 115 horsepower, one of the two. No one knows. Uh, uh, they didn't change the designation when. Um, okay. There's just two versions of it, I guess. That's, and it does do zero to 60. Yeah, it'll, right? I, it'll cruise at 75, no there problem. I drove it all the way home from Virginia. <laughs> all right, all right, let's right, check, so out, let's check out the interior, yeah. So you have one sliding door. Correct. That's how you get it. And it's on, because we don't drive on right-hand drive cars. Yeah. It's on the wrong side. So you're like right. getting out in the traffic. Yeah, <laughs> parallel parking, you get off into the traffic side. <laughs> See you later, kids. Go out in the traffic. <laughs> but uh, it's got curtains. This car definitely has one of the most unique interiors I have ever seen. It's very gray. Yeah. <laughs> the, cur the curtains are motorized. Just the uh, switches are malfunctioning currently. Oh, okay. I, need to, I just need to fix. And so the other crazy thing, I remember seeing a lot of pictures is, these, this, this has captain's chairs. Yep. They rotate. Yes, but even if you get the, even if you get the bench seats, the bench seats still rotate as well. <laughs> Look at that. Oh so you can sit facing. Oh my God, that is so cool. <laughs> and on top of that, the uh, middle seats and back seats can fold all the way flat and create a bed. Wow. You could truly live in this thing. You if could. If you wanted to. You should like take this camping. Yeah. <laughs> so those yeah. two seats flip. What's the, well, okay? What are the other cool things on the interior? Um. Like I said, the seats can lay flat. The back yeah. seats can lay flat. This middle can lay flat. It creates a bed. Okay. The back ones can fold up out of the way. <laughs> like if you see here. On the inside here, it's got the hot and cold box. So the so, cooler, wow, put four water bottles in there. But what's even cooler than that? <laughs> pun intended, cooler, cooler. <laughs> is there's actually an ice maker function inside of it. So there's hot, cold. Wow. Yeah. Good. Tell me a car that's a 2018 so, that has an ice maker. In summary, in it. this van is able to. <laughs> it can make wow. ice. Cool water bottles or beers. Yep. Um, you it can, perfectly fits a six pack. Real, all right. <laughs> you sound like you've tried that already. Yeah. For fun, yes. <laughs> yeah. This you can iterate the seats so you can have folding, rotating, bed, store yep. it up. Uh, it's got a it has a mirror view camera. Mirror, mirror it's thing. got a, a more glass on the roof than pretty much anything else out yep. there. <laughs> it pops open. The, <laughs> there you go. Wow. The skylight roof. So yeah. this is the Toyota Master Ace Surf. Talk that's, about weird and quirky. Yeah, this that's, is definitely cool. Yeah. And like, how much? How much does this cost? Or around? How much can you get one of these for? Um, I. You're looking about anywhere between six and ten, depending on who's selling it oh, and what condition it's wow. in. Wow. How many miles? Like this one kilometers? has about. This one has ninety-four thousand kilometers, so about fifty-six thousand miles that's on not it. Not even that bad. Yeah, and for nineteen ninety, yeah. Oh, I was my. able to pick it up for eighty-two hundred bucks. What? Wow. Yes. This is that to be known as a unique and head-turning vehicle for eighty-two hundred bucks in a different yeah. way. Right. Let, let's. You guys want to get in drive? Yeah. Let's, let's, let's go, go drive around. Drive. Yeah. Let's yeah. Go. What is that? That's the owner's manual. The original owner's manual. And all Japanese. Where's the road flare one? Oh, where did that picture go? What? what? What is that? Oh, that's a turn signal. I thought it was like a submarine for a second. This is car. Don't let your child. <laughs> Do not let children play with the road flares. Right down there. <laughs> <laughs> the images are hilarious. If the engine gets too hot, turn it off. I can read Japanese now. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're moving. If you haven't been in a right-hand drive car, it's a little bit disconcerting because if your whole, if whole life is spent I'm like, this yeah. side driving, you don't know what to do. It's kind of weird. It's an, it's an autonomous vehicle psychological preparation device. <laughs> <laughs> 
There is so much glass everywhere. It's so light. <laughs> Look at all the space back there. Yep. Got the bed still down. As you lay down there while we're driving. <laughs> Are you getting enough airflow back there? Uh, I'm good. Oh, I'm finally good. cooling down. It's been like 8 million degrees in Michigan. It's horrible. I'm getting blinded by up there, though. I close these curtains. The sun comes right through here. Here's the, uh, the little freezer cooler type of thing. Uh, the ice maker? The, the ice maker spot. Is, it, is in there? Oh, yeah, I see. Trays. Right down there. Got little trays. The water bottle might be in the way. Yeah. We have little trays there, and you have the water bottles that fit in there. Oh, wait, there's multiple levels of trays. Ah! Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it back. Are uh, people look, eh, a little raptor. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's, you don't see this on the road. <laughs> right. 94,000 kilometers, which isn't that many at all for a 30 year old car. Yeah. Right, it's about 20, or 56, 57. Tape deck. It's got the original radio that uh -huh. um, does not give me any FM stations. Really? It just says AM? No, because Japan uses an FM band between 76 and 90. What? Where we use uh, 90, 80, 88 80. to 108. Oh. So you can get 89X and NPR. <laughs> Except the antenna. Well, the antenna's broken, so right uh, now so I you don't get anything. <laughs> so I just use an FM Bluetooth transmitter. Okay, so you can listen to music. Yeah. I want to hop in the back. I'm going to the back. I want to try out the back. All right. Oh. <laughs> Playing musical right. chairs with the Toyota Master Sir. Japanese fire drill. The Japanese fire drill. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to do this. Woo. You put the headrest back on. I can't grab the headrest. There we go. Are you comfortable back there, Eddie? I mean, yeah, it's not. It's so spacious. The floor plan is really like the floor. Is, I can't put the headrest on with one hand. <laughs> no. Okay, you gotta press that. The floor is like really high compared to where the seats are. Mm -hmm. But I'm just like turning around looking at things. Hello. Hello, Eddie. <laughs> wow, you feel like you're in another state back there. Man. So, you guys are so far so away. So far away. Ah, uh, the sun is killing me of glare. I'm gonna close this little window thingy. There we go. Or cover. Whoever well, the has the tail on you this side. You, I wasn't gonna say it. I want to see oh, if you do it. Oh, I was like, wow. Okay, yeah. Right hand drive. The turn signals are backwards. Of Wait, you turn, signals are turn signals are on the right side. They're on the, the right hand side. So you gotta go down to signal right and up to signal left. Oh, that's, that is that's that's so very disorienting. <laughs> Surpri like, surprisingly, I've only hit the windshield wipers on this twice. Yeah, yeah. But I got back in my normal car and I hit about four times now. Oh yeah, because your whole mind is backwards now. Right. I'm gonna rotate this seat. So you take this little tab here, push it forward, and then and I can't do this one-handed. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to rotate it and film it at the same time. <laughs> All right, camera angle's gonna be weird. There we go. Okay, so now it's loose, and you just spin it around, spin it around, and then it's that one. I can get in and face the other way. Like, Hello, Birmingham! Oh, the wrong seat of the car right now. Yeah, I am we have facing. The guy in the back facing backwards, and the guy in the front driving on the right side. So I can just like flip back around and go this way. Can you use this thing three speed or four speed? Four okay. speed, four speed, okay. And uh, this way, other people can drive it, and also I didn't have to also take on learning shifting. Yeah. My seatbelt on. My uh, the lap seatbelt is all you get. Yeah, no, not a, not a problem. So overall, this is probably one of the most unique and quirky vehicles I've ever been in, let alone driven. Yes. And you can't really give it a same numerical rating that we've ever given. I just want to no. say that I'm really glad that you let us come out and review and drive this car. Yeah, no problem. I mean, before you got it, I did not know this even existed. And then doing research, I was like, holy crap, this thing is going to be absurd. And then seeing it in person, I was like. <laughs> He's activated to turn to the uh, windshield wiper. Oh, the windshield wiper. Oh, there you go. Well, yeah, this this is very interesting. So, I mean, it's yeah. not that much money. You want something interesting and cool. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. I mean, I, I can, want one now, so. I can put a plug in for the place I bought it. I don't know. That's there a, are, There's yeah. the importing process and everything, too, well, right? I actually picked it up from uh, Japanese Classics down okay. in Richmond, Virginia. And um, I just came across them Google searching cars. And all they do is bring in. 25 year old Japanese cars and they import them, inspect them, title them. So by the time I went there and got it, it was give them money, sign the title. 
Oh, that's really easy. Really cool. that. that into all the legwork. That's super cool. Super easy. Well, that's how you get a Japanese master ace surf. <laughs> and try to find out the bunk bed, because that's cool too. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the Catalina bunk bed yeah. option. Yeah. All right, thanks guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, message, comment below. I'm sure Sal will be able to answer a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>